this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to another episode of Keep or Cull, where we play our whole collection of 600 plus board games and decide whether to keep or cull them. That is true, and all the games we are culling, we are giving away to the viewers. That yes. is you. If you are hearing this, a viewer is you. Or if you're just hearing it, a hearer can also win it if you're yeah. just listening to it while doing other things. So we have some winners now and the games, like if you're waiting for a game, the games are soon gonna start going out. Like life is, ha like life and work uh, is having, per like is over on the list yeah. than selling out games. Yes. But or we are needing to send out games because we don't have any more room for no. cold games now. So we cannot call anymore before we send <laughs> yes. any games out. So if you're waiting uh, both for an email or for a game, they are coming. I promise they are coming. It might take a while, but they are coming yes. because I, we are not the we're not the store. So no. um, it, it will take the time that it takes. Yeah. So let's then go to the uh, winners of uh, this week. There's only two winners this week and both are Patreon. So if you are a Patreon, you can basically pick and choose a game throughout the year. Yes. So if you have the possibility to, 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 to help us and if you enjoy what we do, you can become a Patreon. No, you don't have to. And winners, there are many winners who are not Patreons as well, just to make that clear. Yeah. So this week we have two and the first one is Denise. And the other one is Shan. Yeah. So those are winning some games and that is awesome. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Congrats. Congratulations. And then? Stats. Yeah. Do you want to hear some stats? Yeah, I want to. Yes. Wanna. Okay. This week, this was a good week. We played, uh, do you want to guess? No, I mean, stopping with the guessing. You were like going into I, guessing mode. I have no idea anyway. No, that's so. true. So you're just going to say like, we played 600 hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played 20 hours of board games this oh, week. that's good. Uh, six of them were for reviews. And you're going to see these reviews for Moonrakers and Red Rising uh, in a rambling review. So we played uh, those for six hours. And then we played 14 hours for Keep or Co. Yes. Which is almost the same we did combined for the two last weeks, which was eight and seven hours. Yeah. So almost combined that. So this was a much better week for Keep or go. Yes, absolutely. And we've gotten to play some bigger games as absolutely. well, so I'm really happy about that. We played 12 games this week. Yeah. Last week was 10 and then 9, so you can see that even though like not last week we played 8 hours, but we played 10 games. So we played obviously longer games this yes. week. So the big question, no, I'm gonna say one more thing. We have now played 172 of the 600 games, so sneaking up to that one third mark. Cool. And then, what everybody's waiting for, how, how much, much did Cinema win? win? That should be like a, uh, a song. Yeah, yeah, we should do a jingle on that. So what do you think? Um, I think we're pretty even this mm -hmm. week. You think? Yeah. You won three times, I won seven. Oh, really? Yes. You crushed me. Yes, and yeah. the last game, somebody else won. Yeah, nice. So let's get to games. Yep. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna start off with a small game called Space Race. This, like, not gonna talk a lot about before we do the Keeper Con, mm -hmm. but this is also one of the, the games we had the longest. Last week we played Fields of R, Fields, not Fields of R, Fields of Green, which have been there for a while. This one picked up in Essen in 2017, yeah. and we just gotta play it. You yep. ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. There must be a reason why we didn't play it for four years, nobody talked about <laughs> it. Uh, it has some fine, interesting ideas. But, and it was an okay game, like not a bad game, it was fun to play it once. Uh, very slow engine builder basically. Oh yeah, very slow. Uh, but the artwork is really beautiful mm, and yeah. I, I guess if you play it a, a bit there might be some interesting things, but mm, it was okay. Yeah, I agree. It was a little too slow of a deck builder for me personally, or like an engine, an builder, engine yeah. builder. But I see some nice elements as well, mm -hmm. but I don't see myself playing it though. That is true, so let's have an eco pile over here this week. Then we have Love Letter. So you ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. This is a just a nice, very simple game. Mm -hmm. And it's a game that you can bring with you like everywhere and play with anyone, not a dog. Very important to remember that. And it like the only negative thing is that if you're playing with more than four players, somebody has to sit and wait but, but for that's, their turn. But that's like like it's so strange this game actually has rules for that yes <laughs> but because the game is so quick like if you play with six players you just change out who's playing yeah. it makes no sense the only other game i've seen done that is another game but i think we don't have it anymore but it's like super simple uh -huh. you draw a card in your turn and you have to discard one of the two cards that you have in hand mm -hmm. and it's possibly has an effect and Most you want to like not be eliminated yeah. and you want to have the highest number in, at the end of like the turn yeah. and it's like it was on the top 10 like light games mm -hmm. I think on my list so this is an easy keep for me yeah and this is the uh, Kanai Factory edition we also have a copy of the original 
Um, but this is like the, the, the Japanese original version. I like I this one better. So, so keep over here. Keep okay. over there. Next up, we played, starting up with the bigger games, we played this one. This has all the expansions in it. It's pretty big and hefty. Yes. It's Terraforming Mars. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Yeah, so I have like a love hate relationship with this game, but because sometimes I really have a lot of fun and sometimes I have less fun. Because we have come to the conclusion that if both of us plays equally good, the player who is most lucky will win the game. And um, yeah, you like be, in most games. You, no, that's not true. Uh, there is a lot of luck in this game, uh, and 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 there's like there, most games you can mitigate it in many ways. Like this game has that that luck factor where. We have agreed on this, and now you're suddenly not agreeing no, no, with me. No, I'm just not like you're. You're presenting this like this is something that I agree totally with, and that I, I agree like partially. Uh, no, but the thing is though, like there is a lot of randomness in a game this long, and and this is one of those games where if. You don't get the cards that you need, like even from drafting or drawing cards. You will have to change up your, your, your strategy, basically, or mm. go some different way. And of course, like the possibility of someone getting the cards they need a lot of the times, and you not getting the cards you need, will probably shift the game. We have played the game almost 20 times, so it is a game I really like. As I said, we have most of the expansions, we don't play with them. No, that is my like second thing about this game. I, mm -hmm. I really like the game. I get what you're saying about luck for it being this long of a game. Mm -hmm. um, this game, I don't need the expansions for like, I would like to keep Prelude. You play with Prelude every time. But all the others, I don't need them. Nope. And like, we can, we can call them if that is a possibility. No, I because know. I like the cards and I like the corporations, but all yeah. like the extra bits they added, mm. especially like Win is Next, that was horrible. And the no, none of them were really good. Only Prelude was the one that I did. I've heard the people better. liking Turmoil and Colonies as well, but uh, I, I just think the maps is and pretty yeah, that's essential, what you need. Yeah. yeah. And Basically. Prelude. I think Prelude and the maps and you're good to go and you yeah, don't need anything else. Yeah, so I'm so happy yeah, we're keeping it. When you agree with keeping it, that, that would be strange if you didn't. Next up we have La Granja. Okay, so one, two, three, boom. Oh, you're keeping it? Yeah. Because I'm waiting for the deluxe edition now, so I don't need to... That is true, but that's, that's in two years. Yeah, do you think you will keep play this, like, in two years? No, but I wanna, I wanna keep it until I have the deluxe edition, then we can get rid of it. Okay, yeah. I um, I obviously want to keep Lagana Granja, mm -hmm. because it's a great Not obviously, game. because you chose Carl. So but, people are going to be like, oh, you chose Colin, and they stop the video. are like get, coming out with this, uh, looks super cool, mm -hmm. a new edition of it, like, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Uh, it's an, a little big edition, yeah. Yes, yes. As if I felt it's doing like a, an expansion, uh -huh. I'm so hyped. But uh, I don't think, uh, it's been it's been like two years, mm -hmm. plus, plus, plus. Oh yeah, more than two years. Since we play La Granja, I don't think we'll play Ra La Granja before mm -hmm. we get the deluxe edition. So I'm ready to call it now. Okay. To give it away to somebody who will actually play it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We're yeah. gonna get the other one, so yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, then, we have... Wow! We played also with the expansion for the first time. So you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom! Yeah, it's a great game. Like, it's, it's, it's an amazing dice drafting game, not dice drafting, yeah, kind of dice drafting game. Yeah. Uh, many people feel it's mean. I've never seen it as mean. It really depends on how you... And I play this when I hated mean games, like when I hated interaction. It's just like I don't see my dice as my dice because I can buy other players' dice. So the dice I roll are basically dice that are free to me, but other people can buy them. And then I have coins I can use for other things. We play with the expansion modules. I think we play with all of them. Some are really good, the new cards. Yeah, and all of that, one of the new, the new die, make it kind of like simpler, less less tight basically. But it's a very, very good game. I, I really recommend it. Amazing game. Twa. Yeah, I like it a lot as well. I think it was really cool to play with the expansion. Mm -hmm. It's not like a necessary expansion for this game, as the game is very good as it is. But I like the new cards, yeah. like yeah, the powers of Activity the cards. cards yeah. uh, there was even some final scorings that like was mm -hmm. new, mm -hmm. and I really liked that. And what you're saying about the meanness, it sometimes when I'm rolling my dice mm -hmm. and I get low numbers, yeah. I'm just like ah, okay. That was a bummer because now I need to buy your dice 
And I you will, will probably not buy mine because they're I so would low. I actually say that rolling low numbers are better because yeah. you can flip them around and nobody else can do that. Yeah, that so if you roll low, low, low numbers, you're basically, if you have enough influence... If it's, you it's, have enough influence. Yeah, and, and I've never had influence in this game we played now, but it's, this is one where I, basically when I roll the low numbers, I'm more happy. Oh. Because I can then just get that influence somehow and flip them around and I can... Uh, depending on where I'm in turn order, like with the black dice and defending yeah, them from yeah. the events and stuff. This is a great game. I would say that when you play it a lot or you play it many times, I would say that the expansions, the expansion really adds something with mm. the new activity yes. cards. Because you don't have that many in the base game. So, great game. Keeping that, going on to the next game. Which Wingspan. is Wingspan, which we played the first time with the Oceania. Oceania, Oce Oceania. Oce Oceania expansion. Yes. Okay, so one, two, three, boom. I like Wingspan a lot. It's fun. It's like a basic game. Mm. I, I feel like it's pretty simple, yep. but... I just love the artwork in this game mm -hmm. and the theme and sitting just looking at the birds when it's not my turn and like getting these combos mm -hmm. I think it was nice to play with some expansions we have some northern birds or something no nope, European European sorry um as well and I I there's so many birds in this game so I don't really like be like oh this is an expansion bird exciting but I think it, it's nice to have more birds. Yeah, I feel like it adds a lot of things. I feel like the big problem is that you can't fit it into the box. That is like a, a, the thing I don't like. Uh, so you need to have two boxes, basically. Uh, yeah. The Nectar, which is the new adding to the game, I'm like a bit unsure. Like it takes away some of the randomness, like if you get unlucky and not get the resources you get, but it also makes the game easier. Yes. But I, I enjoy playing it now, so I would need to play it a couple more times to see if I like the Nectar or not. Mm. But Wingspan is just a... a a pleasant game. It's not amazing. Yeah, it's not like a game that makes me like, oh, this is so much, this is so good. But it's just a fun little puzzle, like doing my own little engine. I enjoy yeah. that quite a bit. I agree. So, so we're keeping gonna keep wingspan. wingspan. Do I have the next one? Yes, you do. I do. It's Chimera Station, a game we played like when we got it a few years back. And now we played it again. A great introduction. You yes. ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. It's fun. It's fine. It's, yeah, nothing special. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea in this game that you're making your own uh, workers. Make your uh, own kind of worker. Yes. And depending on what co parts your worker has, mm -hmm. it has like different advantages yeah. when they go to certain actions or do certain things. I really like that. And also I like that the action board is filling up throughout the game. Oh, yeah. And that is very valuable because it's like the, based on the order that it comes out mm -hmm. in. If somebody builds the actual building, so I like the variability in this game. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I just don't like it enough. Yeah, it's a yeah. great game, but it's not. Uh, and as you said, like it's only played once, and we were a bit unsure when we played it last time. And now yeah. we're gonna play it again, and it, it's a fun one, but not amazing. And that's basically the only thing I can say. Yes, so I agree. Hell away. Oh, we have totally forgotten to show any backsides of the box oh, yeah. this way. So this is the back of this box. This is the this. It's actually like if you go to the top of my document, it says show, show the, back the back of the, of the box, box, and I didn't do that. We're so, always forgetting. Let's do Chimera Station. This is the back of the box of yeah. Chimera Station. And the we <laughs> no, no, the rest of them we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have a game. It's so tiny. It's peep mats. It's it peep mats. Yes. You need to show the back of the box. Oh, <laughs> it's back nothing the on the back of the box, though. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, boom. Um, have we misunderstood something? I, I, I read the rules like many times and I don't see that we did. But it's like we, we share this on, on the social media yes. and, and people were kind of divided. Oh, yeah. But many people were people, like... Uh, really like... Oh, you need to keep this one. This is so uh -huh. good and it surprised me because it was boring. Yeah, I didn't see the fun in it at all. Uh, I, I, you're trying to get some birds, some birds, and not and some seeds, and some seeds, and, and the not way squirrels. you acquire them, you have to do like adding some numbers together to get the bird, and then it says what kind of seeds you will get, mm -hmm. and you're trying not to get the squirrel because he steals your crow. seeds, or the crow because it kills, kills your birds, birds or chases them away. I'm guessing chase yeah, away is the nicer thing. But it, it, yeah, um, I didn't no, I didn't like it. No, not at all actually. Uh it was it felt boring to me. I didn't really care 
how which sometimes I just think the squirrel was annoying. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's it's it's a game. Yeah. I don't need it in my life. Next up, we played a classic King Domino. We played it now with the expansion for the first time. And you're ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. Yes, I really like King Domino. It's just super good, 15 minutes of fun. You can play it with anybody, not a dog. And you can, um, the expansion adds a horrible tower. We also have the tower from before. We got it as a promo. It's not good. Uh, so we have towers. If you want the King Domino tower, just let us know and we can send it to you if you win a game. Um, but other than that, like the, the expansion added some giants, which just takes away points. And if you're lucky, you can send the points, some negative points to someone else. But it has also some quests which gives you a special uh, end of game scoring, which I really enjoyed. But the Giants, I don't need to play with them again. But the, the game is super good. I like it. It's King Domino, back of the box. <laughs> yeah, I like the King Domino as well. I like it more now than in the beginning when we first got it. I didn't really like it as much. Uh, I like it more now. Um, I really like the draw thing here, like uh -huh. the queue system. Oh, yeah. I agree with you, the Giants wasn't a huge hit for me, but we're keeping the expansion because of the events. I, I mm -hmm. thought that those were cool. Yeah, so we're keeping... King Domino! King Domino! Next up, we have Guilds of London. You ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom! Yeah, I thought it was fine. Yeah. Uh, we played it uh, some years ago, and then we played it for the first time with more than two players mm -hmm. now, and I liked it more with two, uh, three, yeah. More than with two, yeah. More than with two, yeah. because this is essentially a, a what do you call it, area majority, no, yeah. area control. Area majority, yeah. yeah. Game I where you're say. trying to place meeples on different guilds mm -hmm. to get control over them and to score them. And that is best with more than two players, I would I would say. Back of the box. Yeah, Back I would say box. so. So the thing is, like, there's so many different guilds, but all of them have basically the same kind of ability. So it's, it's like, it's either get some new cards, get some new money, or get some new uh, meeples, basically. Yeah. So all of the abilities are sounded kind of the same. I really enjoyed the game, but it went on for a bit long. Like, if the box says 45 to 90 minutes, if you can get it to, like, an hour, that would be nice. But you played it in two hours with three players. And we didn't really play that slow. Like, we have some rounds you had to, to think, especially in the beginning. And there's a lot of iconography. Like, you will mm. need to look at that big player sheet of the iconography. And then there's not all of them cards are there. So you need to just Not all of them cards, cards are there. Not all of them cards. And I, I don't like that. I like it either. Like, I hate it when somebody... I, I said this before. I hate it when somebody's like... If there's one, I don't, I don't understand this card. I go to the card reference and it's not there. Which means the designer thought that obviously you will understand this card. So I, I don't need a reference. I card. don't know what happened in this game actually because it, it, on the player aid it explained that you got two points when it was a two point like symbol. So that that you needed an explanation. And then there's other cards. There might I've been voted you, so it might be like there's some promo packs or something yes, like that. Absolutely. I didn't count the cards to see that there were new cards, so there might be that. Uh, so that's just a random tangent on something else. But the game is good. The game was fun. I think somebody will enjoy it. I yeah. liked it quite a bit. It might I might have like rated it a, a seven or something. Like it's a good game. Yeah. But it's not one I will miss. Yeah, I agree. I don't wanna. I I don't think I will miss this either. Mm -hmm. So that's so why only we call it one Kim's more so game to go. And this is a Kali Mala from Fabio Piano. Yes. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, boom. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> you want to keep it? Yeah, I. What's going on? You're like, oh, it's because I won. Uh, yeah, well, you, totally. It's because you came in third. No, it's not. Uh, I really. Oh wow! I really like this game. Uh, I think I like. I thought I liked this game more than you. I. And you did before we played it now. I think, Back of the box. Yeah, I think this is a, a very clever design with the way you do your actions. You're placing your disc between two actions uh -huh. you do them and if somebody places on top of your discs then you get to do them again mm -hmm. and then there are scorings activating throughout the game and mm -hmm. you kind of like um, control when the next scoring is happening yep. yourself so you need to see like oh okay am i in a good position for this scoring now mm -hmm. or do i want to like delay the scoring so that i can uh, sneak in some a few points yep. i really like this game i think it is cool that you can actually play it with up to five players mm -hmm. and it doesn't take that a long time either no. i think that is clever but it's been sitting on our shelf 
for like how many years now and we don't play it and, and i don't see myself picking this game over a lot of games that we own and that is hmm. basically why now i'm thinking okay we can call this because it, i'd rather play something else but mm -hmm. but don't misunderstand me because I, I think it's a really good game yeah i think it's interesting because like this is a, a completely different discussion yes because if that is your reason that you don't think we will play it we can call 90% of the game. Oh yeah, we've talked about this before. Yeah, we have. Because yes. it, I, for me, that's like, I mean, you, you can mean, you can, you can like, it, it can be like a feeling for you, but for me, that would not make sense to call a game for that, because then we would have no games. We, we could only play the new games to get for review and keep like 30 games that we really like. Oh, I don't feel that way, but uh, I think that's like, fine. I think that it's, it's more, more important for me to have like games that I think that I would actually play than mm -hmm. you. You are more like in a collections brain, I think, like our lector's brain. Um, I, I would gladly keep it, but uh -huh. I, I don't think I will miss it either. Do you no, know what I mean? But I then, but then, mm, yeah, I think I think it's really interesting because that like it's like like a very that line is very very thin for me. If you know oh, what yeah. I mean, like. If you take away Love Letter, I would not miss it. Like, there was be no feeling like, oh, I hope I had Love Letter. Why can't you play Love Letter? There hasn't been one time in the last five years where I've had like, oh, Love Letter, we have to play that. Or no. King Domino. Yeah. Like, uh, or a lot of the games. Like, and this is not a, this is more talking to myself. Like, uh, I want to have a collection where I look at all the games and feel like, oh, that's a good game. Yeah. And, and I feel bad about this game. Oh yeah, after yeah. playing it now, I really, really enjoyed it. I felt like this is such a clever design. Mm. So cool, so simple. And I think if we introduce this to people, they would be like, oh, that's really cool. Like the, mm. the way those action works and and that way of, of triggering the scoring. So I haven't seen that before. Really I remember clever. not clicking it that much with five players because it was a bit chaotic and I didn't feel like I had a lot of control. Three players were really nice. Four players might be the best to have like a bit of that chaos, but mm. we need a lot of control as well. Yes. So if I look at those games, like, and, and that, is, that is basically when I look at the piles. Yes. I want to look at them and see if I see it in myself in a year, mm. I will see, oh, that's the right choice. Mm. I will feel like, uh, and, and that is, I think, more important to me than will I miss it. Yeah. Like, um, because I can survive without her from Mars 12 Wingspan. Like, oh, yeah. And, 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 and that is, so it's very, for me, it's more of that, if I see, if I don't see Camaro Station, or if I see Camaro Station, I'll be like, was that good enough? Oh yeah. But if I see Kalmar, I'll say, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I agree. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. That, that, is, that is kind of, and this is interesting because I don't think, I don't um, think these thoughts really true uh, before we do the videos. And that's really interesting because now you get my raw thoughts about what I feel about getting, uh, keeping these games. But and, I, I, I honestly thought you were going to call it. Okay. Because you, okay, I, I got like vibes from you now that you like it more than before. Uh -huh. But you have like expressed that, ah, oh, you didn't really... Like, see what the... You have tried to call this before, I think, when we have gone to our shelf. That might be, and I'm happy I, I didn't now because I, I we played it. I think that I have been like, oh, I want to keep that mm -hmm. because I liked That's it. True. Um, but I'm I'm very happy to keep this one, mm -hmm. if you want to, because I, I, I think it's a very good game. And I think this made a very interesting like discussion because that is one thing I really love about these videos is when we end up doing these random discussions on, 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 on what Keeper Call is to us yeah, and it and evolves like, and it's, it's different for me each time. Yeah, and this is like another moment where we actually switched meaning. Like because oh, yeah. Yeah, I liked it better before uh -huh. and now you've become fond of it mm -hmm. and yeah. So. I just think it's such a clever design. Yeah. And Fabio is making, like with Merv as well, very, very interesting. Can't wait to see more. Keep it? Oh yeah, keep it. I think it's like, dude, could be. Oh, do we have more games? Yeah, one I more. thought we were done. That's why I was just keeping on discussion. Get bits. Okay, one, two, three, boom. Sorry. Boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Let's do it again, let's do it again. One, two, three, boom. boom. What? what? You want to call it? <laughs> I do too. I am... Um, I really like back of the box. Yeah, back of the box. I really like it bit uh, for its simplicity. I like the components. It's like I want to open it up and show you. It's like this Lego shark. It's poor man and Legos. Yeah, it is basically. But I really like it. And the reason I'm calling it is because it's very simple, and I like um, walk the plank better. Like to mention one in like the same the, the, walk the plank is a little more uh, complex though. Yeah. Um. But I think that walk the plank has more interesting decisions. Really, is what I think. And also because I won. 
Oh yeah, for sure. No, I agree. I think it's. I think it was fun, but um, this is not one I will see on the shelf. Back to what we just talked about, and I would not feel like, oh, that is cool. I will feel like, oh, that's a game. Yeah, it's a game. So we're calling it. We are, and those are twelve more games. I think that going back to to where we were with the discussion because that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's do what we do. Let's put the games in here. Oh, we're gonna say uh, most favorite and least favorite. Do you want to begin? Least favorite has to be Peep Mods. Oh yeah, I agree. Unfortunately, I agree. Uh, it was just like I was kind of waiting for the game to end <laughs> while playing it. Uh, the best game, I think. It's strange mm -hmm. if it's on this side. Wait, yeah, yeah, but it's Lagrangia. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it was is. Was that your favorite? Side. Yeah, I think because it was um, a pleasant surprise playing uh -huh. it because I didn't really remember anything about it yes, when we yeah, played it true. now, and I was just like, oh, okay, this is actually a fun game. So your favorite, wow. week, your favorite game of the week is getting called, and we cannot play it in two years. Yay! So hopefully the new version is good. Yeah, we or hope else so. we win. We will have a bad game. Yeah. Uh, but probably you can play the original game in the bad in the box. Uh, in, what in about the, you? In, oh yeah, I think like the game we have Terraforming Mars was really really good. Yeah. Because that was awesome. Uh, it was a really fun game. And also Colin Mala was one of those like, oh, this is a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna mm, be. Yes. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's very I think this is very healthy. Like I think it's healthy to go through and actually. Think about why mm. uh, I want to keep. Like you are more ruthless. You are more like getting I want to call it everything. But Let's I think do it's, it. I think it's interesting. I think it's um, really cool to 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 get to, to talk about why in these videos as well when you have the time. And I, I think that really nails it for me that I want to look at the shelf in a year and see. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Good. Oh, that's a good game. Oh, yes. that's perfect for that occasion. Oh yeah, and I'm go going like that already now because mm -hmm. we have our keep piles or like keep shelves yep. over there. And often when we like before we start a new keeper call video, mm -hmm. I'm looking over there. I'm just like, oh, oh, we have so many good games. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is good. And I can't wait to play that again. And that is the way it should be. And mm -hmm. I think it's really nice doing this challenge because yeah. a lot of these games. They would have sat on our shelves for Forever. like 5, 10, 15 years more without us really noticing them yeah. or like really like questioning, okay, why are they deserving of a spot mm -hmm. in our like glorious shelf? I don't know. Because they have survived a lot of those going through and calling the yes, games. Yes, because so they... we have done that before as many well. Many times, like, yeah. Or else yes. we would have many more games. Many more games. And this would be lasting for five, five years. <laughs> Yes, I think it's really, yeah, as you said, healthy to go through it now and again mm -hmm. and to get rid of some sh games that are just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so yeah, those are 12 more games. We are getting uh, farther and farther. There might be a bit of a downfall in the next weeks because I am doing a new project, a bit like an actual performing thing in a, in a month's time. So it's going to be... You. A lot of work, so that might slow it down for a while, but we will keep up the videos and yes. probably do a video every week, even though there might be like four games. Four games. So that's how it's going to be for a while, just so you know. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and you can become a Patreon if you want to. And thank you so much to our patrons. You yes. are awesome people. Thank you. Every single one of you are amazing. And all the viewers, everyone are yeah, amazing out there. Thank you. you for being here. I'm Johannes. I'm Sarah. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.